Okay, in this video, I want to show you guys how to safely inject B12. So, I'm not a medical doctor, and this is not medical advice, but over 39% of Americans are B12 deficient. It's wise to first get checked out, get your blood levels checked, see if you're deficient. In Asia, you're considered deficient if your levels are under 1000. And in America, you're considered deficient if your levels are under like 150 or something. So I got tested about a year ago and I was at about 350. So I want to get my levels up to 1000. So I'm doing monthly injections of B12. This type right here is cyan, cyan cobalamin. And I bought it at the local Shoppers Drug Mart for $4.79. So about 5 bucks for a bottle. And this bottle will last me about 3 or 4 months. So when you're doing this, you leave this lid on. Don't take this lid off. There's a little rubber seal right here, and that's to protect it. Keep it um, so nothing goes in or out, just the needle. So you actually want two needles for this. You want one needle that goes in that takes the B12 out, and then you want another, you're going to replace the needle once you fill up the syringe. Another needle to actually go into your skin, go into your leg or your arm or wherever you're doing it. I find it easiest to do it on myself, right in my leg. So that's what I'm going to do in the video here. You want to make sure you have an alcohol swab, really important. So the first thing you want to do is take out the alcohol swab and leave that tin foil part laying up just on the table there. Take the alcohol swab, swab the, the cap of the B12 this back on the little tin foil and take your first needle and open it up. So that's a very small needle. This is definitely not the size of needle that you want to use in your body. That is way, way too small. The size you want is actually going to be a bit bigger. I'll show you in a sec. But this needle will do for just uh, taking the liquid out of the B12 bottle. So it helps, I find, to first withdraw some air into it pull back the air, however much you want. I'm going to be injecting 0.8 milliliters. So pull all the air back to 0.8. Stick it in there. And then you push all the air back in. And then it should withdraw very easily. Pull, 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 pull. And there I'm at 0.8. And pull it out. There's always there's gonna be some air in the top there. You don't want to inject that into your into your leg, into your body. So you're gonna push the air out. Make sure the little B12 comes out of the tip there. And so now you're gonna switch needles. You don't want to stick this needle in you because you just stuck it in the in the cap and there can be some contamination on there and you want to be really hygienic about this plus this isn't the right size needle so close it up once you close that you're not going to be able to open that back up the safety lock so twist that off now you get your next needle out twist that on there twist it on so it's nice and secure and then this is this is where it's the fun part comes you find a spot in your leg pretty important where you do this actually, you don't want to do it in the wrong spot. So, and it's important not to flex your leg over, you want to keep a nice loose, loose leg, it should be nice and, nice and loose. I like to do it right on the, right on the edge here, right on the side. I have a little mole here, so I can, I know it's like right around this area. Get that nice and clean. Take off the cap. And again, you don't want any air, air in the cap at all, so, you just, Push it up, make sure the little B12 comes at the top. There's no air bubbles in there, it's good. And this is where the fun part is. Find a spot and just dab it in like one, two, three. Absolutely painless. Slowly, slowly, slowly in. No problems. And then before you take it out, you take this alcohol swab again, pull it out and cover it up right away problem and that's done and then before you forget quickly close that 
that's safe, that's done. So, it's no problem. And it's also important not to flex your leg right away, so just stay seated, don't stand up and do 100 squats or something, just chill. And uh, I actually wouldn't do any hard exercise after I've had this injection. I usually wait till the next day. I already did my 100 squats and everything this morning, so good to go. And that's, that's basically it. So again, I'm not a medical doctor, it's not medical advice, but um, my since I've been blood tested, I decided that I would like to get my B12 levels bumped up a bit, so this is a good way to go about it. Cyanocobalamin is one type of B12 you can get. You can also get methylcobalamin. It's a bit more expensive, but it's probably a bit better. Um, body can uptake a lot more of methylcobalamin than it can of cyanocobalamin, and um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's good to do this once a week if you're really deficient, and then once you've done it for once a week for about a month or two, then you just do it once a month. When you're done, you just put the, I'm going to reuse this bottle. You cannot reuse this needle. This needle's garbage. The syringe is garbage. You don't want to reuse this. Buy, you can buy like 100 of them for like 5 bucks. Um, and again, the size of the needle is very important. So the number on these ones is 25 millimeter. That's how it's done. Look, no blood, nothing. It's totally cool.